we've got a couple more people. So I think we can probably go ahead and start. Um, okay. Hi. Hello, Hi. Anton. Hi, how are you? Doing all right. How are you? Good. Um, well, so we're, we're, we're getting together a little bit late today because uh, I dropped the ball and I was, uh, I was asked to a, a sort of late. I mean, I'm, I've seen the exchange, so, you know, that's fine. Not a big problem. I think. Okay. Well, in the interest of getting through everything, I think it's a light agenda today. Um, Daniel mentioned something about announcements. I only have two announcements from my side. I don't know if anyone else does. My two announcements are that. Yay, they unblocked our site from my company. And they still haven't told us why they blocked it in the first place. Um, so we may never know exactly what went wrong, but at least it's fixed. Um, a little bit of nagging sometimes is effective, it turns out. Um, and uh, I guess the other, oh, I have, um, I have a request for help. I don't guess, I don't know if anyone on the bridge right now can help, but um, as part of the webinar prep, one of the things that I was hoping we would be able to do is reach out to pharmace pharmaceutical companies with R&D departments um, who may be interested in attending our webinar. And uh, that's not something I personally know how to go about doing. So I've tried to contact people that are on our team roster that specifically mentioned pharmacy, um, mm -hmm. but nobody has responded yet. Is there anybody who maybe could help with that? Mm. Yeah, I, I, I'm eager to help. I, I don't know immediate step. What, when the webinar is? Okay, so I don't think we've scheduled the webinar yet because okay. I don't think we've collected um, a, a sufficient audience yet. So that's what we're in the mm. process of trying to do right now. And there is a document in the works where we're kind of putting all the planning details together. I can definitely send that to you. Yeah, it would be it would be really highly highly appreciated. Yeah, definitely. I'll try to. I mean, I don't have immediate contacts. I think that um, you know my my way to achieve this would be to to actually reach out to the same people you did, but uh, we can try to extend the circle. We have a couple of people from different you know companies and you know like the postdocs. Um, 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 actually, Arthur talked to yes uh, on Saturday. I think we might try to to do the second circle. You know, yeah. If if you could send me the document, I would appreciate. It. I will try to do it myself. That would be great. Hey. I thank you for right. giving myself that AR uh, and document. Um, okay. <laughs> Does anyone else have any announcements that they wish to make at this time? Okay. So then I think the second thing I have on the agenda is that Maya is going to cover some things. Correct, Maya? Uh, right. And great. Right. So hello everybody. Um, the uh, main thing um, that I would like to share regarding uh, what uh, uh, risk uh, team is on at the moment is that uh, we analyze uh, the successful and uh, unsuccessful pickers. Now, even though the pool is small, there are uh, were quite a few discoveries that are relevant for the further input for both Kaggle submission and the bigger search engine uh, version. And one of uh, that things, for example, is that abbreviations are pretty tricky. And even though we used an existing medical dictionaries, we've missed them. Now we are trying to uh, close this gap, find the abbreviations, and uh, recalculate uh, frequency of uh, relevant uh, terms in each and every section to make sure we actually make the search by section correctly because it was done by everybody uh, based on assumptions. Now we have good papers, we have bad papers, we can really take a look and consider. Second important thing that has been discovered is that tables and charts do indeed contain very meaningful information. 
they are source of open information by itself and there should be a way to parse them and analyze this information as well. We've also mentioned uh, that many uh, papers in a pool, they contain a lot of relevant keywords, but it is simply a library of kind of summaries from various uh, conferences. Indeed, the density is high because there were multiple conferences, sometimes hundreds of them, but there is no anything that is related to the topic we are looking at. It's just random uh, number of papers. Uh, another, another thing that uh, we are uh, working on uh, is understand basically um, some more specific uh, terminology and in that sense for example after reading the risk papers I know that in a good papers almost in all of them the word risk by itself was explicitly mentioned uh, in a different context including higher risk etc now, it's a little bit tricky because uh, risk uh, also related to some statistical terminology, such as uh, risk adjusted odds, etc. So we have to exclude them and include them in the stop words. I believe that after we will do this job, we will have pretty good insight on at which sections should we look uh, what is supposing uh, density of the keywords in the relevant uh, articles? What are other terms that are helpful for search? And reevaluate exactness of the new results, and that will be an input uh, for uh, search engine team, and that will be an input that we will use further for our um, um, Kaggle submission. And today we started after some exploration and thinking and analytics, kind of manual job primary. Uh, we uh, started to divide uh, tasks among the uh, team members. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to present you with the meaningful results. And I really hope that it will kind of help all of us uh, to increase the exactness of the f further extractions. Wonderful. That was really cool. Uh, some of those things that you just said, I, I was especially interested to hear about the uh, risk adjusted phrase, which it never occurred to me that that would be uh, something that you would see out of context so frequently. I would imagine that happened often actually. Um, so anyway, thank you for sharing. Um, I think so Maya, does that, does that also cover your, your team update? You're somehow, Daniel listed you twice in the agenda, essentially. I'm not sure I can go over the same twice. Okay. Like all I right. can, but you will fall asleep. It's all good. Um, okay, well in that case, I think we should, we should move to the next team. Uh, is somebody from GEO here? Uh, yes, it's, it's me today. So Manuel is uh, um, sick. Um, so he won't be able to to um, take care of Team Geo for at least a while. So I'm back into the breach. I mean, I also don't have much time this week. Uh, that's why I um, wasn't much very present the last two weeks because uh, I have deadline at work on this Thursday. So um, yeah, I, I will be mainly busy with that still until Thursday. Then I'll have a bit more time. Um, I'm waiting for a summary of what's been going on in the last one and a half week from Manuel, and uh, so hopefully I'll, I'll have a say more comprehensive update tomorrow. Uh, sorry, tomorrow no, tomorrow I cannot, but the day after. <laughs> okay, um, great. Update coming soon. Um, sorry to hear about Manuel. I hope he gets better. I also hope so. I don't know what. He has, uh, actually, hope nothing too bad. Definitely. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, hello, 
Joe Archer. Hi, Archer. Um, we are just in the middle of team updates. We just heard from Maya and uh, we just heard from nice. Daniel, uh, which just to say that we'll get a more detailed update on Geo in a couple of days since uh, things are a little dispersed right now. Manuel's not very well, I guess. Um, and uh, okay, so is there anyone here from Ties? Hi. Um, yeah, so we are kind of just, you know, trying to um, uh, specify the exact tasks that we want people to do. And then we're in the process of recruiting and um, assigning tasks. Uh, we had some, uh, we started uh, with like, uh, some of the category like the time period instruction there's some just some research and some initial data uh, retrieval um, so um, and also on the other hand we're getting in touch with the other stack channel uh, which is working on the curation uh, for the you know the all the relevant articles and we, we're hoping to sort of exchange notes on uh, on some of the data that we'll be developing tools to extract as well. Yep. That's good. Are, are there any blockers? Um, not at the moment. Oh, okay. by the way, I want to mention that, as Maya mentioned, that uh, the table data, I think I seen a discussion thread on Kaggle that they are actually working on it to get the table, the, the data from the tables. But I I don't know if um, the you know the Air Institute also mentioned how they were gonna approach this as well in the previous meeting. I had to follow up with that. Uh, can you please oh, yeah. share a link? Uh oh yeah 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 I can I can go dig it out. I just <laughs> yeah I just I just read the discussions. Please share a link with me. I'll I'll I'll, I'll dig into it. Thank you so much. Sure sure. Oops. That's great news. Um, okay, who am I forgetting? Vaccine. Hey guys, uh, not any huge updates, but two of the projects are kind of ramping up. One is extracting contradictory claims about uh, drugs in the literature. That project is being led by Malavika and they're already doing some preliminary discussions there. Uh, the other project that's starting up is adverse drug reactions. Um, so Isaac created some Trello cards for that, and uh, we're just going to look through those and then get some more people on board. That is pretty much it for now. Other projects are kind of also getting up to speed, and um, yeah, that's it for now. No blockers. All right. Good. No blockers is good. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. That's all four. Okay. Archer, is there anything you want to say before we go to Q&A? Yep. Um, I, there, there is a quick summary of what happened yesterday in terms of the <coughs> Rockefeller University and Columbia University researchers. I, if you guys haven't seen that call, I highly recommend uh, checking that out. Very insightful and very, uh, you know, validates a lot of the things that we're working on and also validates <coughs> the ways how we're, we're having separate teams to work on uh, separate angles of it. It also uh, validates the overall approach of breaking down the task, uh, you know, this discovery engine into uh, individual like data infrastructure, the ontology engines, and the actual tools that researchers can use. And um, I've shown a, <coughs> a first take on that diagram yesterday. Uh, after that, I had a call with Lukash and actually understood what was wrong about diagram and created a new one uh, today and posted it in the Discovery Engine channel. Uh, it's kind of a lot of information and a lot of concepts, but uh, it, it seems to make sense. So uh, for individual teams, I would recommend not being distracted, like keep, keep doing what you guys are doing. That's awesome. Just, um, you know, look and uh, kind of peek into what we're trying to structure from the overall like big picture of things, because you will essentially integrate <coughs> into this ontology engines part because you are those experts that already built up some mental construct of what exists within the risk factors uh, domain or transmission and incubation or drugs and treatments and you're the people to help us create those big pieces of, of the puzzle. So that's kind of 
like the the quick a quick intro into it and we're gonna have a, a a call search engine call in nine minutes so i'm gonna jump in in there to also help facilitate uh conversation excellent i saw that email yesterday you sent out i was uh, thinking that was it's really great to have a potential customer um really describe what they need it's a, i would think very orienting um okay well, if, if that's it, I think uh, I think we have a little bit of time for Q&A. Wow, no questions. Wow. That's got to be a first, I think. Uh, that means either everything is clear or everyone's confused to the point of not being able to ask questions. But also, we, we have uh, basically our teams in here and not many, uh, you know, people that just joined or things like that. So everyone seems to be on the same page, which is, which is good and productive. <coughs> All right. Very good. Well, in that case, I think maybe we can end a little bit early and have more time to yep. do our stuff. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. See, so long, everybody. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.